Whatever problem you carry, with, you go go with a solution in the name of Jesus. Brother, let's pray this moment. Let's pray as today is another encounter with God. Pray that God and grace will be with you. That God will pray to solve every problem, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we commit tonight's service unto you. Lord, come and take full control. Let's pray that the word that is coming forth from Mr. Dr. Daughter, let the word be a fruit in your life. Let the word be a fruit in your life in the name of Jesus. As you are about to go to listen his word from his servant, pray that the word will bring an impact in your life tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord, we appreciate you, Lord. Father, we lift up your voice to pray for tonight's service. That your grace will be with us. That your presence will be with us in the name of Jesus. Father, we commit your servant unto you, Lord. Father, use him, O God, Father, like never before. Father, speak to him, O God. Father, speak to him tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, we appreciate you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. If you have a testimony, go on the back of the church and give that your name as to the welcome, the praise, and worship team. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall we put our hands against the good Jesus? Amen. Give him all the praise and the glory. Just thank him because we are here this evening. Lift up your hands and thank the King of Kings. Just bless him. Give him all the praise and the glory. Father, I thank you, Jesus. Just give him all the praise. Give him all the glory. Just thank him because he's the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Lift up your hands and worship the King of Kings. Thank you, Jesus. For you are great. You the miracle so great, Father. We want to thank you for this evening, Father. We give thanks unto you, Father. We bless your mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Only you can do what no man can do, Father. We give you all the praise and the glory. We want to thank you for what you made us today, Father. We bless your mighty name. We thank you, Jesus. Father, we worship you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless your mighty name, Jesus. You deserve a glory. And the honor. Lord, I lift my hands in worship. As I praise your holy name, you deserve a glory yeah. and the honor. Lord, I lift my hands in worship. As I praise your holy name, for you are in a miracle so great. There is no one else.
we bow before you tonight we salute your presence jesus there is no change in you there is no blessing in you we bless your father we bow tonight we bow we bow before you you are the holy god you are our helper the comforter the healer the heavy load carrier the burden bearer the red sea divider we bow before your throne lord we bow before you lord we bow and worship you we bow and worship you jesus we bow and worship you you are the holy god you are the one and only king thank you jesus we exalt you father thank you father in jesus mighty name we worship in jesus mighty name of worship god has done us well he has taken us thus far to the 18. you have a testimony you should have testimonies by now so run to the entrance and give down the details of our testimony and let heaven rejoice tonight hallelujah let heaven rejoice tonight hallelujah the word of god says in psalm 118 verse 14 the lord is my strength and my song and has become my salvation tonight we're going to take this opportunity to thank god for the set man in the house the bishop god has been using him all throughout these 18 days to bring forth the undiluted word so tonight we're going to thank god for that unusual strength hallelujah Say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for unusual strength and fresh anointing upon your servant to minister your undiluted word. Lift up your voice and thank him. Thank God, thank God, thank God. It's not easy to stand here just one day. Father, we thank you, Lord, for unusual strength upon your servant, upon your servant to minister your word. Daily, oh God, daily, oh God, we thank you, Lord. We bless your name, Jesus, for that unusual strength, for mental strength, for physical strength, for spiritual strength. We say thank you and for releasing your fresh anointing upon him every day, every day, every day. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Lord, we bless you. We bless you. We bless you for the man that you have given unto us we magnify your name we exalt your name for unusual strength for uncommon grace upon his life to bring forth your word in a daily basis all throughout these 18 days he has stood up on his altar to deliver grace unto us we thank you father we bless you lord we magnify your name oh god we are grateful 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 for your servant where they are giving unto us to shape us to lead us to direct us to correct us to rebuke us to chasing us we thank you father we thank you father we thank you father for the wisdom and strength that you have given unto him we say thank you lord 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 we thank you we thank you from common strength from common strength for strength strength oh god to bring forth your word in a daily basis we say thank you lord we say thank you lord we say thank you lord eternal rock of ages we are grateful we are grateful tonight we are grateful tonight for great impartations that we have gotten that we have received all throughout this fasting of god we know we'll never be the same again so we are here to thank you for our bishop we thank you lord we magnify your name we magnify your name we bless your father thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord we exalt you lord we bless you lord 
in Jesus mighty name the Bible says in Revelation 12 11 it said we have come in by the blood of the lamb hallelujah so we're going to thank God for the power in the blood say thank you Lord thank you Lord for victory over the flesh by the power in the blood of Jesus. Lift up your voice and thank God for the victory that we have over the flesh. Over the flesh. The flesh has no dominion over us. We can put them to subjection by the power in the blood. The blood has the power. The blood has the power. Father, we thank you because by the blood we can put the flesh under subjection. We can put the flesh under subjection. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the victory what a victory that you have given us uh, over the flesh uh, by the power in the blood of jesus uh, lord we say thank you lord we say thank you the blood of jesus uh, has the potency to subdue to subdue every opposition uh, against uh, our spirituality lord we are here to thank you for the victory for the victory for the victory by the blood by the blood the blood of Jesus uh, speaks better thing for us. Uh, the blood of Jesus uh, speak grace, uh, speak power, speak strength. Uh, Lord, uh, the voice of the blood uh, has been speaking for us uh, and is still speaking uh, on our stead. Uh, in our stead, uh, we say thank you, Lord. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, thank you, Lord, uh, for the power in the blood uh, to dominate, uh, to prevail uh, over the flesh. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise tonight. We give you honor. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name. You can clap for the Lord is worthy. Hallelujah. Make that clap of getting better and louder for the Lord tonight. Tonight, I know you have a testimony. Somebody is right at the back, good here, and he will share your testimony with us. The Bible says in Psalm 72, verse 14, it says, God shall redeem this nation from deceit and violence, and a pressure shall their blood be in his sight. This hour, we are going to lift up our voice and pray that Lord Jehovah will take over the election process concerning this nation. There shall be no violence, no bloodshed in this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's lift up our voice and pray. Say, my father, my father, take over the election process. We decree there shall be no violence and bloodshed in this country in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. Oh Lord Jehovah, take over from our hands, oh Lord. Take over the election process, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. By your presence, oh Lord, go before us, oh Lord. Lead and direct us, oh Lord, concerning the election process in the name of Jesus. We hand over the nation into your hand. We hand over the election process in your hand in the mighty name of Jesus. Take over from our hands, oh Lord. Take over from our hands, oh Lord. We hand over the election process in your hand. In the name of Jesus, let your presence, oh Lord, let your presence, oh Lord, lead and direct us, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. By our Lord Jehovah, by ourselves, oh Lord, we cannot do nothing, oh Lord. We cannot do nothing, oh Lord. We hand over, oh Lord, we hand over the election process in your hand, in the name of Jesus. We decree, oh Lord, there shall be no violence, no bloodshed, oh Lord, in this nation concerning the Concerning the election process, Lord Jehovah, we decree, O Lord, no violence, O Lord, no bloodshed in this nation, O Lord. Anyone, O Lord Jehovah, that have consulted, O Lord, that have consulted demonic altar for Lord Jesus, for bloodshed, for violence, O Lord, expose them on time, expose them on time, expose them on time, expose them on time. Anyone, O Lord Jehovah, that have consulted, O Lord, demonic altar, demonic oracle, O Lord, concerning the 
humiliation, oh Lord, to shed blood, oh Lord, oh Lord Jehovah, concerning violence, oh Lord, we come against it, oh Lord, we come against it, oh Lord, Lord Jehovah, let your presence, let your presence, oh Lord, let your presence, oh Lord, override it, oh Lord, expose them on time, expose them on time, oh Lord, we call the call the God of this commission, we call the God of this commission, the God of Bishop Mighty Obad, go ahead of us, oh Lord, take over from our hands, take over from our hands, in the mighty name of Jesus, be oh Lord the commissioner, be the electoral, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, be the electoral officer, in the mighty name of Jesus, be the leader, oh Lord, be the commander of this nation, in the mighty name of Jesus, position your angels, oh Lord, round this nation, round this nation, anyone, oh Lord, that are vowed, oh Lord Jehovah, to shed blood in this nation, arrest them on time, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord Jehovah, we do not care, oh Lord, who that person it be, oh Lord, whether in high authority, whether in low authority, oh Lord, arrest them, oh Lord, arrest them, oh Lord, arrest them, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, and you want, oh Lord, that have consulted, oh Lord, able altar, oh Lord, to shed blood, oh Lord, Lord Jehovah, Lord Jehovah, expose them, oh Lord, expose them, oh Lord, no one shall die, oh Lord, no one shall die, oh Lord, concerning this election, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord Jehovah, we hand over this election process in your hand, we hand over this election process in your hand, in the mighty name of Jesus, any gang, oh Lord, that they have failed, oh Lord Jehovah, Lord Jehovah, to do which one, oh Lord, we come against them, oh Lord, concerning this election, arrest them, oh Lord, arrest them, oh Lord, arrest them, oh Lord, expose their hiding place, expose their hiding place, expose their hiding place, in the mighty name of Jesus, anyone, oh Lord, that are found in his heart, oh Lord, Lord Jehovah, to do each one, oh Lord, to cause violence, oh Lord, to cause destruction, oh Lord, Lord Jehovah, to devour the peace of this nation, we command thunder to strike them, oh Lord, upon that altar, in the mighty name of Jesus, we command thunder to strike them, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord Jehovah, we decree peace, oh Lord, 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 in this nation, in this nation, in this nation, peace, oh Lord, concerning election, peace, oh Lord, concerning election, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord Jehovah, we hand over, we hand over this nation in your hand, we hand over this nation in your land, we hand over the election process in your hand, in the mighty name of Jesus, there shall no chaos, oh Lord, there shall not be chaos, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord Jehovah, do it, oh Lord, you have started it, oh Lord, you will continue, oh Lord, to do it, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, by your presence, by your presence, oh Lord, lead them, oh Lord, lead them, oh Lord, concerning election, lead them, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, we decree peace, oh Lord, we decree peace, oh Lord, we decree calmness, oh Lord, in this nation, in this nation, in this nation, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord Jehovah, let your presence, oh Lord, lead, oh Lord, lead the nation, lead this country, lead this country, as your presence, oh Lord, lead the Israelites, oh Lord, lead this country, oh Lord, we hand over it unto your hand, we hand over everything in your hand, oh Lord, Lord Jehovah, we look up unto you, we look up unto you, we cry unto you, oh Lord, we cry unto you, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, we decree peace, oh Lord, we decree peace, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, anyone, oh Lord Jehovah, that have vowed, oh Lord, to do sacrifice, oh Lord, concerning the election, concerning the election, Lord Jehovah, expose them on time, expose them on time, expose them on time, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we give you praise, we give you glory, blessed be your name, in the mighty name of Jesus, only you can do it, oh Lord, only you can do it, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, we decree, oh Lord, we decree, oh Lord, peace in this nation, peace in this nation, concerning the election, concerning the election, oh Lord, after the election, oh Lord, we decree peace, oh Lord, oh Lord Jehovah, during the election, we decree peace, oh Lord, after the election, we decree peace, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, anyone, oh Lord, that have consulted, oh Lord Jehovah, oh Lord Jehovah, which doctor, oh Lord, Lord Jehovah, we come against it, oh Lord, any instrument of death, oh Lord, that I have prepared concerning election, Lord Jehovah, we command, destroy them, oh Lord, and use them, oh Lord, for agriculture, we will use those instruments, those instruments, oh Lord, for agriculture.
Uh, destroy them, O oh Lord. They shall not walk, O oh Lord. Those weapons, O oh Lord, shall not walk in their hearts. In the mighty name of Jesus, any weapon of death, any weapon of death, O oh Lord, that the enemy has planned, O oh Lord, to use, O oh Lord, before the election, after the election, O oh Lord, Lord Jehovah, we command, O oh Lord, they shall not walk in their hearts, O oh Lord. We they shall not walk in their hearts, O oh Lord. We shall use them, O oh Lord, for mass agriculture. We shall use those weapons for mass agriculture. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we give you praise. Be the glory. Divine. Be the magnified spirit of the living God. We give you praise, O Lord. Thank you, Lord Jehovah. Thank you, Lord. Let your presence, O Lord, terminate fear from this nation. Let your presence, O Lord, terminate fear, O Lord, from this nation. From the heart of your people. From the heart of your people. Let your presence, O Lord, terminate fear, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever want to cause fear, O Lord, in the heart of your people concerning this election, Lord Jehovah, we command, O Lord, total rest, O Lord, total rest, O Lord, total rest. So long in the mighty name of Jesus. Be the glorified, be the magnified in Jesus' mighty name. Put your hands together for the Lord and take your seat. Hallelujah. Brethren, are you excited to be in the presence of God tonight? Then, hallelujah. This is testimony time. Testimony time. Brethren, we have a brother in our midst that wants to testify of the goodness of God in his life. The Bible says in Psalm 105 verse 1, it says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people hallelujah well i want to call on our brother tonight to testify of the goodness of god and that brother is pastor suleiman Fure Musa. hallelujah praise the lord i want to announce the deeds of god in my life brethren praise the lord i don't want to take for granted the doings of god in my life God has blessed me in the beginning of this year. And all my requests that I put together in the beginning of the year, I listed five things that I wanted God to do for me this year. And among the five, we have not concluded the 21 days prayer and fasting. God has done two. I want to return all glory and adorations unto God, for he has done it. Hallelujah. Number one is... I was looking for accommodation. I was constrained. My family was constrained. Serving the Lord, coming to church regularly. Everyone here know um, Lomli, what I'm talking about. Lomli is one of the worst traffic zones in the city of Freetown. You know, when you want to go to Lomli, if you have an appointment to Lomli, you have to go an hour before that appointment or else you miss your appointment. I was struggling. My family was struggling. And I said, Lord, I want to serve you. My family wants to serve you. They want to be in your presence, but we are constrained. The expenses are too much on me. Lord, help me to locate a place around the church before the close of this 21 days prayer and fasting. And indeed, God did it for me. I want to thank God. A place was located, and I was called. I went to the place, I saw the place, the criteria for a place, all was met. It was a good place for me to stay with my family. But there was an issue. The issue was with the cost. Because I had a benchmark that I will not cross, no matter what. Hallelujah. Brethren, you need to cut your coat according to your size. When you put a big coat on yourself, you will struggle to walk. So I wanted a place that can fit me. Hallelujah. And I said, this is my cost. I will not cross this path. And I left. Brethren, it took some three weeks. One morning, a deaconess in the church here called me immediately. Pastor, God has answered you. This woman came knocking on my door that somebody has come to pay the amount she was looking for. But in the night... She changed her mind that that pastor should come and live in this house. Hallelujah. 
Brethren, they called me and said, Pastor, do you have the money to pay now? I said, do you want check or cash? You just tell me. Hallelujah. Amen. Brethren, I want to thank God for I, I will be relocating very close to the church opposite my father. Amen. Hallelujah. So that time, I will not struggle to come to church again. And my family will serve God. I want to give all, all the glory. Hallelujah. Secondly, I want to thank God for promotion in my office. Mm. This one is unique. Oh. God has lifted me. Hallelujah. I was in my office and um, my boss is an expatriate. And the position for which I was promoted to is an expatriate position. Because everyone that has served in that capacity has been an expatriate. Now we demand them. Not a black man. Praise the Lord. And it has been very difficult for a black man to climb that position. And there was a vacancy. An immediate vacancy. You listen, my when, some, when a word is coming from the altar, brethren, please grab it. My father said, when you are about to climb to your level, that person that is in that position will misbehave. And something automatic will happen. And you will be elevated. That is what happened. My boss misbehaved. She misbehaved and she was given, you know, you know the, the international organization, they can give you a chance to resign. They did not sack you to resign gracefully. And she left. And there was this contention in the office among the expatriates that we need somebody to come and serve in this capacity. They were contemplating. I was praying. They were contemplating. I was praying. They were arguing. I was praying. I said, this is an opportunity. In these 21 days of prayer and fasting, God answer me. No white man will sit in that chair. It will be a black man from Sierra Leone that will sit in that chair. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And indeed, they were talking all manner of things. And it was coming to me. Whenever they meet, they will say, but this guy, he does not have external connections and the chief of party will say he has external external connections remember we used to send him to this this and these places well this young man has lacked this thing and the chief will say no this young man is up to this task i know him and it was meeting i was just praying god you do it you are able to do it brethren when people put a limit for you when god has not said that Prove to the devil that it was not God that said that. Hallelujah. And I was believing God. Finally today, I never knew they were testing me in the holidays. They called me and said, we don't want you to go for holidays. We want you to do something for us. We want you to compile the quarterly report for the attention of our headquarters in Washington. Can you do it? I said, by the grace of God, I will do it. They gave it to me. I worked on it during the holidays. I did not go for holidays. Even the outing, I did not go. I was in the house working. To God be the glory, I was able to finalize the report. It went nothing absolutely was wrong. And today, finally, as I arrived in the office this morning, the chief of party came to my office. Come. I want to see you. He came. I came to the office. He, he rushed to take his Back from the chair, I said, sit down. And I sat down. I knew a good news was coming. Praise the Lord. And he said to me, Suleiman, you are moving up to another step. And I'm, I know and I believe that you will do it. And I said, chief, what is it? He said, you are taking over the position of Razia. You are becoming the m and &E manager of this organization. Hallelujah. It was a shock to me, but I want to thank God for that elevation, for that lifting and that promotion. Hallelujah. But brethren, there is one issue. The issue is any job that can keep you away from God is just a matter of time you will lose your position. You will lose your place in God. Hallelujah. This is a job that will be taking much of my time. Praise the Lord. And I want to ask God for direction. I want to ask God to direct me on what to do. Because even in the night, they will send to you an email to do something and bring it in the morning. But I know the God who has taken me up there 
will guide me and lead me in the name of Jesus. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? God has done it. We are talking about the doings of God. Somebody celebrate God tonight. Hallelujah. If you believe what God has done, then lift up your voice unto heaven. Believing that the remaining days of this fasting, God will answer you. I say, God, we answer you. In the name of Jesus, let's lift up our voice in appreciation. Father, we appreciate you. We give you glory and honor for the great and amazing works you have done in our midst. We worship you, Father. Thank you, mighty God. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let's put our hands together for Jesus as we continue in the service tonight. Hallelujah. To the night of doubt and soul, onward goes the pilgrim band, singing songs of expectation, marching to the poor mist land. Let us rise up and sing through the night of doubt and soul. number AJ668 or 688. The wanted outside, please. Hallelujah. Tell somebody the power of 
God is in this place. Wave your hands to Jesus. Bye. Bye. 
you turn this net. I say it's your turn tonight. Today are you net? I say it's your turn tonight. Are you net today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every, Every time, time you see the, and the act of God. Anytime when you see what God do, it might not have been for you. It not go down be for you. You see the act of God in the life of somebody. You see what God do now somebody in life. It is giving you an information. It they give you signals, eh? God is still on duty. God still awoke. And if God is still on duty, if God still awoke, very soon it will be your turn. It go come to you just now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe somebody had five prayer points. Somebody got five prayer points, then. And we still have about four days to the close of the prayer and fasting. And we still got four days for ending prayer and fasting. And two of those prayer points have already been answered. And two of them prayer points have God don't answer. Maybe it's because you are not checking your own. So tell you to check your own. Maybe your own has been answered. So tell God to answer you. Maybe your own is on the way. So tell you only the Maybe your own is coming after this night. So tell you only after this night. Maybe your own, you are the next person on the line. So tell you are the next next person. Maybe you are the next person on the line. So tell you are the next person. So I like you to tie yourself onto the testimony. So tie yourself to the testimony the way they Lord, you have done it for one. You do it for others. You don't do it for one. You go do it for You do it for me. You go do it for me, sir. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. That same God will do one. Let do one for yourself. Papa, do one for myself. Then prayer requests the word all right. Then be petitions. What don't bring before you? Papa, answer me. Before the close of this 21 days prayer fasting. Answer me, Papa. Answer me, Papa. I they call upon you. Answer me. Answer me request them. Then till the word of put down, Papa. Answer me speedily. It just left four days. Four more days for go. Papa, you never do it even the last minutes. Answer me, oh God. Answer me, Papa. I come to you, answer me. You say I look to the hills, who said me help them come out? I don't look to you, Papa, and you may help them come up from. Help me, oh God, help me, oh God. Help me, Papa, I don't wait for you. From the second I they wait for you. And I still they wait for you, Papa. I don't forsake job. I don't forsake enjoyment. I don't forsake all things, Papa. I they look to you for change me life. Change me destiny. Change me position. Change me level. Change me, oh God. That story where people don't laugh before. Then they provoke me. When I told me back, then they shoot up me. Papa, help me, help me, help me. Oh God, don't let me get so. Step into them. You were able to do them. You were not do them. You were get the power and authority for do them. Help me this day. Help me this set. Help me this set. Help me this set. Visit me, Papa. Visit me, O God. Visit me, Papa, with your power. Visit me, O Papa, with your might. Oh God, reach that me situation. Reach that me situation. Now me well, but you want reach here, Papa. Me better want reach here. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Papa. In Jesus' name. Lift up your right hand. Say, Jehovah, my Father. Say, Jehovah, my Papa. Now, make sure you are going to pray because it's prayer and fasting. This one, I pray and fasting. Make sure you pray. Say, Jehovah, my Father. Say, Jehovah, my Papa. I'm not hearing everyone. Say, Jehovah, my Father. Say, Jehovah, my Papa. Every problem. Any problem. Every affliction. All the affliction, them. Attached to my destiny. Where they put me, the better Every one. problem. All the problem. Every affliction. All the bad thing, them. Attached to my life. Where they put me, life. Attached to my family. Where they put me, family. Attached life? to my business. Where they put me, business. Attached to my career. Where they put me, book life. Break my fire in the name of Jesus. Every problem. 
every affliction lift up your voice and pray every problem every problem every affliction that is attached to my life every problem every affliction attached to my life in 2018 oh break my fire I destroy your foundation I destroy your foundation I dismantle the foundation of every problem that is attached to my life every problem that the enemy attaches to my life or to my destiny oh Jehovah we destroy every such problem the foundation of that affliction the foundation of that problem we destroy by fire by fire open your mouth and pray every problem every affliction that is attached to your name that is attached to your destiny destroy by fire destroy by fire we break it in the name of Jesus we break that problem we destroy that foundation the foundation of that problem we destroy you 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 in the name of Jesus lift up your voice and pray 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 every problem every affliction that the enemy has attached to my name we destroy that affliction we destroy that affliction in the name of jesus we destroy that affliction in the name of jesus we destroy that affliction in the name of jesus every affliction every problem that is attached to my name every problem every affliction that carries my name drop my name drop my name i command my name out out of that affliction out of that cycle of affliction out of that cycle of affliction out of that cycle of problem in the name of jesus in the name of jesus every problem every affliction that is attached to my name that is attached to my destiny in 2018 i destroy your foundation in january i destroy your foundation you shall not rise anymore you shall not touch me anymore you shall not touch my destiny you shall not touch my life Every problem, every problem, every affliction, affliction that I is attached to my name, every problem, every, problem, every affliction, every, problem, every sickness, sickness that is attached to my name, I destroy, I destroy your foundation, I destroy the power, I destroy your foundation in the name of Jesus. I destroy you from the beginning, from the beginning of 2018. I destroy every sickness that is attached to my name, I destroy every problem that is attached. To my, I destroy I destroy my name, I destroy every affliction destroy that carries my name. Oh, Jehovah, oh, Jehovah. By, fire. by fire, by fire, I destroy every affliction that carries my name, every problem that carries my name, every affliction that carries my name. I destroy, I destroy, I destroy. Lift up your voice and pray. I destroy them. Any, any problem, problem, any situation, every problem that carries my name, I destroy, I destroy you. Them. I destroy you. I destroy you. In the name of Jesus, I destroy you. In the name of Jesus, I destroy them. Any problem, wake them in them. Every problem, every affliction that the enemy has prepared. What the enemy don't make? For me in 2018, this year, I destroy you. I destroy you. I destroy that affliction. I destroy that oppression. I destroy that sickness. I destroy the foundation of that problem. I destroy the foundation of that affliction in the name of Jesus. Every problem, every affliction that carries your name, open your mother pray every, every pray. problem problems, every affliction that carries my name every problem every, problem, every, sickness, every sickness every disease, every disease that carries my name in 2018 i destroy you 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 Every problem, every problem, every affliction, every affliction that carries my name, I destroy, I destroy, I destroy you, I destroy you, scatter them, destroy them, scatter them, every problem, every affliction, every problem, every situation, 
I destroy your roots. I destroy your foundation. I break your power. I destroy your foundation. I destroy you. I scatter your foundation. I cast you out. I cast you out. Out of my destiny. Out of my life. I cast you out. Out of my destiny. Come on, I'm alive. Come on, I'm alive. Come on, I'm alive. So, come on, better one. I scatter you. Every problem. All the problem. That the devil is cooking. Where the devil they cook? Waiting for the month. Where they wait for the month? Waiting for the time. Where they wait for the time? Waiting for the season. Where they wait for the season? I destroy that problem. I scatter you. Every pain. I destroy you. Every sickness. Every sickness. That the enemy is preparing. Where the enemy they prepare? Waiting for the month. Where they wait for the month? Waiting for the week. Where they wait for the week? Waiting for the day. Where they wait for the day? To release it upon me. Today. Today. I destroy. I destroy that sickness. I destroy the foundation. By fire. By fire. 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 I destroy it. I destroy it. I, I destroy it. I destroy them. Oh yes, Papa. I scatter them. It shall not happen. It shall not come to pass. They it shall not see me. It shall not locate me. Lift me. up your voice oh, and pray. Papa, Sammy. Scatter them. Scatter them. Destroy the foundation. Scatter them. Scatter them, Papa. Scatter them. Scatter them. Scatter them. Scatter them. Yes, 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 yes. Scatter them, Papa. Yes, Father. Scatter them. Scatter them. They are strongholds. Scatter them. They are strongholds. Scatter them. They are strongholds. They are foundations. They are strongholds. They are foundations. They are strongholds. They are foundations. They are foundations. They are strongholds. They are foundations. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. Inside Jesus' a big name. Every plan of the enemy. Any plan of the devil. Planning to bring sickness upon your life. Any plan for cause sickness on your life. In any month. Is there any month? Any week. Any week. Any day in 2018. Any day this year. We we'll scatter that plan in the name we'll of Jesus Christ. Scatter that plan inside Jesus' in name. Any problem. Any problem. That the devil is planning. Why the devil the plan? That he, he targets you this year. Why don't target unto you this year? Whether in any month of this year or any week Is of this year. Any month or week this year. God has arisen early enough to destroy that plan. In the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. Say Jesus in name. You shall not be a victim in Jesus name. You shall not be a victim in Jesus name. Lift up your hand. Let's pray one more prayer. Let's your hand up Say Jehovah my father. Say Jehovah my papa. Say again, Jehovah my father. Say Jehovah my papa. Release my destiny helpers. Send the one away for help me to me. Release my destiny partners. The one away you don't send for that partner would bring their come away. On time. On time. Early enough. Early, quick, quick one. In 2018. This year, 2018. Lift up your voice and pray. Oh, yes, you are not a prayer. Release my destiny partners. Release my destiny helpers. Early enough, oh Lord. Early enough, Father. Let them come on time. Let them arrive on time. Let them arrive on time. Early enough. Release them. My destiny helpers. My destiny partners. Release them early. Early, early, early. Early this year. 
early this year. Release them. Let me locate them. Let them see me. Let them locate me. Let me locate them. Destiny help us. Destiny partners. Oh, my partners. My destiny partners. My destiny help us. Come from the four winds of the earth. Come from outside the country. Come from outside the continent. Come from Europe. Come from Nigeria. Come from South Africa. Come from everywhere. 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 My destiny help us. My destiny help us. Come from Germany. My destiny help us. Come from America. Come from United Kingdom. My destiny help us. Come from Africa. Come from Europe. Come from America. Come from everywhere. Come, come, come on time. Locate me on time. Hey. hey! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Glory! Hey! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! In Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' big name, you shall have the final victory. You will get better final fates. I said, you shall have the final victory. You will win by the final fates. You shall have the final victory. You will win by the final fates. You shall have the final victory. You will win by the final fates. Lift up your voice and say, I shall have the final victory. Say, I go get the final victory. Say it with faith in your heart. I shall have the final victory. Say, I go win by the final fates. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' precious name. In Jesus' precious name. In Jesus' big name. Father, thank you. Release more grace to your people. Grace for final victory. Someone receive it. Grace for final victory. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Papa. Open our eyes Open to that which you desire for us to see. And let your name be gloriously glorified. Be praised forevermore. In Jesus' precious name. Let those who love the Lord genuinely shout, I love Jesus. Put your hands together for the Lord and get seated. Put your hands together and always see the Lord inside Jesus' name. Final victory, part four. That final win, they will go win, part four. John 14, verse one. Let not your heart be troubled. John 14, verse one. Let your heart not shake. Let not your heart be troubled. Let your heart not shake. Not get poor heart. Ye believe in God. When you believe God, believe also in me. Believe also by me. Let not your heart be troubled. Let your heart not shake. We live in a world that there are too many things that attempt to trouble our hearts. This one will then say, but good thing they try for trouble, we hurt them. Too many things. But cool. Almost every news that comes that is passed around, news that makes way into our phones, makes way into our radio, makes way into our television sets, makes way into our ears. Almost every news is a bad news. All the news, the way they turn away, phone, call, all the news, all the, now, almost now, all the bad news. And so, if we don't hear from God, so if we don't hear it from God, men will fill our ears and hearts with bad news. But a man go flop with ears with bad news. Eh? That is why we need to listen to God. Now I make we need for hear it from God. Because God has the final say. Because now God get the final say. Can you help me tell three people God has the final say? Tell three people say now God get the final say. God have the final. God have the final say. God now get the final say. Say to your neighbor, God has the final say. Tell your neighbor, say that God get the final say. Or what do you think? Or what do you think? Hmm? Did he give you an answer? He don't give you an answer. Or he doesn't know the answer? Or he don't know the answer. It is, you are the one saying it, so you want to know what he thinks. So, God has the final say. Or what do you think? God get the final say. What do you think? Not true. God get the final say. Say it to your neighbor. Say, say to your neighbor, neighbor, God has the final say. Or what do you think? God, has, God get the final say. What do you think? Let not your heart be troubled. Let your heart not shake. What is it that is out there to trouble us? What is it in that way they make you happy? Listen trouble? to me. Yeah, real. Whatever is troubling you is from man. 
Anything where they make you afraid of from Otama. You need to get that. You, you, you need for your readings. You need, you need to just get that. You need for your readings. Whatever is harassing your peace is from man. Anything will make you hard not glad in from Otama. It's from man. From Otama. And so God will settle every case. Whatever is troubling you, God will settle it this night in the name of Jesus. What are you to do? What are you for do? Have faith in the word that God is bringing your way. Get faith by that word where God they count you in. Easy to find many who tend to believe what people are saying. But good people they believe by what the people that they say. But you need to believe what God is saying. But you need to believe what God is saying. To get to a point. You need to go to that level. That only what God says matters in your life. That only what God talks may matter to you. Let God be true. Let God be true. And true. let all men be liars. Let all men be liars. Let what man they man. say be lies. Let all and let what lies. God says be true. Let God is saying. Hold true. on to. Let your faith be on the word of God. Let your faith be on the word of God. Amen. Amen. Let not your heart be troubled. Let your heart not shake. Why did Jesus just say that to the disciples? Why did Jesus tell the disciples that that was the There were too them? many things attempting to trouble their hearts. But who did they want to shake their faith? Too many things. But who? Too many things. But who? And then Jesus came and said, Let not your heart be troubled. Jesus Christ said, We are not shake, we are not afraid. Also, we see in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Matthew 6, verse 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Go after God in kingdom and walk out to do one. Why do I bring these two scriptures? Why did they bring the two books there? Because. Because. There are too many things that the world is throwing at us. But good thing they were the world they offer to we. And we tend to be seeking after them. And we tend for the run after that thing and they. We seek after them. We they run after them. We believe that once we get this thing, we believe that once we get that thing and they, it will just be okay and perfect for it us. It will be fine for our life. But that is a deception of Satan. That's a lie from Satan. Agree with me that whatever you set your heart to get, agree with that. Is there anything where you run after? That is made by man. When a motor man make, after you got it, after you don't get her, it becomes yours. It don't come to you. You look for something else. You look for other thing back. That's how it works. That's how it is. There is no one thing that is made by man. No one thing on the way motor man make. That when you get, when you don't get her, you say, oh, final, final, it's okay. Oh, I don't satisfy. Just wait. Just wait, small no more. In six months' time, six months' time, you will find yourself pursuing something else. You will see you said the run out of other thing. Take for instance. Take for example, phone. Phone. At least the most common thing that phone. you all have. That we all get them. Samsung S5 came out. Samsung S5 been come. Everybody was rushing for S5. All mommy they run for get them. And those who made it are laughing at you. The one way maker that they laugh. They because laugh. you don't know something else is coming out. You don't know say that make If I can just get a spy. Oh, if I get a spy. All over adverts everywhere. Oh, sign at the if, I just want to get a spy. Once yes. I have a spy. If I get a I'm okay. I'm not okay. You get it. You get it. Six months after. Six months back. They bring another one. They shoot one at the market. And you run for that one. You go behind the back. They keep occupying you. They, they keep protect your mind. They there get was you. a time Mercedes 200. Oh, tell me there were Mercedes Benz 200. Mercedes Benz. Man, oh man. That Mercedes Benz. Hey. When you ride Mercedes 200. When you ride that motorcar day. Man, oh man. Oh. God. It's as if, oh God. Oh, that means never finally, 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 I don't arrive. It's <laughs> sweet for drive. Few years after, after some time, boom, bam, baby Benz came out. Nine account other one. Ooh, yeah, 190. Benz 190. <sighs> Everyone rushes to it. man run back for go get her. People were buying it for their for their wives. Some man they buy for their wife. They call it baby bears. Yeah, they call us it baby bears. And then after some time. After some time. E class came out. And then left that one they go to the uh, E class. People are running for E class. They for Google term. E class. E class. You don't need a fault to close. You don't need for again. A slight touch. Just just touch. E closes. They don't look for soft touch. Soft touch. E class. E class. Ah. Uh, 
People were running after them. They run after them. They have them. soon forgotten about Mercedes 200. They will not forget about Mercedes Benz. Soon they have forgotten about 190. They will not forget about 190. They are rushing after E class. They are going to be E class. The manufacturers are mocking and laughing at you. Why do they make they laugh you? Few years after. Some years back. They change and bring E X class. They knocked out E X class. They are just confusing you. They are confusing you. No the more. same engine. Now the same engine. They want to keep you pursuing they after something. They want to pursue, they pursue, pursue, pursue. You, you, you know, pursue you and fella. pursue and pursue. You're the fella. And then iPhone came out. Now they got iPhone back. Nobody likes to touch any other phone. Yeah, nobody, nobody. You have to give me iPhone. You have to give me iPhone. All right. Give me iPhone. Give me iPhone. Give me iPhone. Give me iPhone. 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 You know why? You know why? They want to keep you in constant pursuit for things. They want let you. They run after material things and over. Jesus met us in that state. Jesus be meet with Father Zine. He met us in that state. He meet with Father. And he said, "Hey, stop." He said, "Hey, wait. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness." Stop for run after Zine. Run after God first. And all these things that you are dying for. And all that thing away they kill you say for. Will become mere additions to you. Just the easy one to you. Seek ye first. Go after God. The kingdom of God. Go after the things of God. Listen to me. Listen to that. Number one thing Number one, I want you to note you know, particularly well tonight this night is, so, is that now for you know, say, God comes to give you prescription. God comes for outlining it to you. And those who pay attention to prescriptions, and the one that will pay attention to that detail, they are the ones that will secure the final victory in life. And they will get the final victory in life. Jesus came and said, Jesus be come and talk Stop to running around for things. Stop for the run behind them. Stop pursuing things. Therefore, they run after them. Because there is no end to it. Because end no day to run. God knows. God they know. He said there is no end to it. There's no end no day to run. You just pursue and pursue and pursue. You just go run and run and run and they satisfy you. Another one is coming. Oh, that one they can. That one you were pursuing. That one where you did run at her. It will look to you as nothing. It will look like toy to you. Then you will pursue again. Then this you one. fell back. After some time. After some time. You know there was a time that some years ago. Not some year long, back. I think about maybe 208 or something. 208 something like that. Oh, maybe 208 or so. Or something. When tablets came out. Oh, what do we call tablets? Eh? Yeah. When you go for meeting and you see somebody bring out tablet. When you go for meeting, you see somebody call tablet, you pull out. Hey, that meeting. You'll be peeping like this. All money attention to that person. And then he will stand up and snap. And the thing that snap is there. All money for there. Yeah. All money. He snap himself. What is all this? What is that? After this? some time. After some time. Nobody is interested in it. Nobody don't want to see tablets. Again. Are you hearing me? Stop pursuing things. Stop for the there is no end here. to it. Tell your neighbor, stop pursuing things. Stop for run after there here. is no end to it. Say to another neighbor, stop pursuing things. Stop for run there is no here. end to it. It will only give you heartache. It can give you heart attack. You heart, you go heart. Many families have been destroyed because, family because of things. Don't scatter because of property. Nothing else. Nothing. If you, if you, if you don't give me iPhone. If you don't buy iPhone for me. You know they touch me. You know they touch me. Ah. Hey, hey. iPhone. iPhone for touch. The husband said, Jimmy, I just bought you S5 Samsung. I, I, I just don't buy for you fine S5. He said, there is another one. We must, we must pursue. We must, must pursue iPhone. We iPhone. must pursue iPhone. iPhone. Must pursue. Or else no touch. This pursuit for things. This one way they run after thing them. Has made people to ignore God. I know many people that don't forget God. But today, I pray you return to the pursuit of but God. Today, you will run after God again. If you have to pursue anything, if you get for run after anything, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Oh, run after God and what does it mean to seek? What do you for go after? Seek. Seek what do you mean for God? Go after God. Number one. Number one. It means 
go after God. Pursue God. Run after God. Mind the things of God. Know the things of God. Love the way of God. Let God in your way there. Love the things of God. Let Papa God in there. Let it occupy your heart and your mind yeah, and your interest. Your they by you. That's what it means. That's what I mean. Pursue. Run. After the things of God. Go after the things of God. Go after it. Run after the things of God. Keep your eyes on God. Never allow the things of this world to take your eyes away from God. allow the things of this world to take your eyes from God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Go after the things of God. And his righteousness. And how for work are we done? And all these things. And all the funny things that people are dying for. Where people they kill themselves for. Do you know people have killed people for phone? People don't kill people for phone. No? They, they kill themselves for phone. Mm. You don't believe it? You don't believe her? For phone. Phone, phone. Phone. That today is and tomorrow is nothing. Today is a day, tomorrow is not a day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May you take your mind off material things from today. Take your mind from all parent things and of this world. God did not tell us to love things. God not tell we for like property. He said we should love him. He said, Lord, we let come. And those things will come to us. And that's in the negro can't we. Amen. Amen. They are the byproducts. Some program them. The byproducts. Oh, then thing that you go see after. They are not the main things. Not to them funny thing. Eh? Why? Why? Number one. Number one. Your life does not depend on it. Your life don't be there by now. Your life does not depend on phone or car or house or Your anything. Your life not be there by motor car for phone or for house. Your life depends on God. Your life, Papa, God is there. Not on things. Not on property. If life depended on things, those who have them in abundance, excess, overflow, will not die. If life not a property, it be dead. Then the one that will get out, they not for don't die. But your life does not depend upon how much of material things you, you have. Your life not depend on how much property or money you get. Your life depends on how much you are ready to work with God. Your life and for how much you ready for work out with God. I pray that from tonight. That he prayed out from today, this night. You will turn unto God fully. You will turn to God through true one. I say you will turn unto God fully. You will turn to God through true one. Let somebody that is understanding may be the only one to shout amen. You will turn unto God fully in Jesus' name. You will turn to God through true one inside Jesus' name. First Peter chapter 5 verse 8. First Peter 5 verse 8. First Peter chapter 5. First Peter chapter Verse 5, number 8. Verse 8. The Bible says, the Bible talks here, be sober. Say, Let you, yes, today you sober. Be vigilant. Let you turn up. Because your adversary. Because the one way they fed you. So you have an adversary. So you got one that they fed you. It didn't say the adversary. It didn't say the, the one way they fed you. He said your adversary. The one way they fed you. It's giving you an information. If they want to give you something. It's giving you an information. If they put something on your mind. That you have an adversary. That you got one that they fed you. Your adversary, the devil, the one way they fetch you when a Satan, as a roaring lion, he they walk around, him walking about, he they walk around, seeking whom he may devour, he they look for who they, they attack, seeking whom. So it means he cannot devour everyone. Not to all man, he they, he, they to, he, they attack he is simply looking for who is available. And they look for who that way put himself available. This year you shall not be available to be devoured. This year you're not going to kill yourself to set that. He shall not devour your finances. And I'm going to take your money. He shall not devour your children. And I'm going to scatter your beginning. He shall not devour your family. And I'm going to scatter your family. He shall not devour your business. And I'm going to spoil your business. In the precious name, Lord Jesus. He said Jesus in, in good the name. precious name of Jesus. Christ. Christ. Said Jesus in good name. Let not your heart be troubled. Let your heart not shake. Hmm. Number two thing I like you to know. Number two, where do I let you know? Faith is a vital requirement. Faith very important. If you must have the final victory. If you for win that final faith. Faith. Faith 
It's a fundamental requirement. It's very important. If you must have the final victory. If you will win that final fight. Faith in what Jesus did. Faith in what did Jesus been do. Faith that Jesus is the savior of the world. That and he is your savior. But Jesus is the savior of the world. Faith in the blood of Jesus. Faith by the blood of Jesus. Faith in the saving grace of Jesus. Faith for that grace where Jesus will save you. Faith in all that Jesus is. Faith in all what Jesus do in this world. It's an important demand. A very important thing. If you must have the final victory. If you for win that final victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Quite a number of people incidentally in church. Why some people them in church? They believe. They can believe that faith has only to do with finances. They feel say faith not only for their money. I want to bust and kick out that balloon of ignorance from your head. I want to take it out of your head. I want to take it out of your mind. Faith is not only relevant when you are talking about, about healing, about money, about material things. No! Let me reposition you. Spiritually, spiritual one, correct to one. know what faith is actually about. For now, what is faith? Let you not are. your heart be troubled. Let your heart not shake. You believe in God. Believe in God. That's faith. That's so God. Believe also in me. Believe also in me, Jesus. In my Father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, if it not be done so, I would have told you. I not for tell you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. John chapter fourteen. John chapter fourteen. Now, so faith is very vital. Faith important too. Faith is not just about getting things from God. Faith not just for getting it from God. No. No. Faith is not just about getting things from God. Faith not to just forget from God, get from God. That when it comes to about getting things from God, you see people like this as in faith. Why can't forget from God? You see the one that faith pray. is not just about getting things from God. Faith not to just for pray and get things from God. Can you help me tell two people faith is yeah, not just about say, no, getting things forget. from God? Not to forget things from God, no more faith, not to forget things from God. So faith is not just necessary when you need healing. Faith not just important when you want to get well, body. It's not just to be handled when you need healing. Not just when, when you get your body there, don't you want to get healing? No. 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 Praise God. Praise God. When you believe God. When you believe God. For prosperity. For better. Faith. Faith. It's not just about when you want to believe God for prosperity that faith, faith is not important. not just about for letting you better. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. That is not it. Not to show it. Can I show you what it is? Hey, why show me what it is? Because faith is not is is a demonstration of the spirits. Faith not for sure what it is are you. And it cannot be limited to earthly acquisition. No, it's not for limited to the things. Men and let me let you know. That you are let we know. That faith in God is a spiritual force. Faith in Papa God a spiritual something and backing. It cannot be limited to when you are about acquiring earthly things. You know that limited to when you are getting things of this world no more property. Now when you need healing, faith. When you have well body faith. Believe in God for finance, your you, faith you comes. You have say your faith come up. Let me show you this. Daddy, you want to show me something? Where faith is directed to. Who's that faith they point to? The faith that works. That faith where they work. The faith that will deliver. That faith where they count results. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready for this? You, you ready for them? Is somebody ready for this? Somebody ready for them? Number one. Number one. Faith is principally. Faith. Now this it mean. A factor when you need to please God. Now something where you need for able to make God happy. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. Hebrews 11 verse 6. But without faith. It is impossible to please God. Why you not have faith? You don't be able to make God glad. So faith is principally a spiritual process. Faith is a spiritual process that's what they pass through. When you want to please God. When you want to make God glad. You step on the pedestal of faith. You just step on faith. But without faith, it but, is impossible to please him. But when you don't have faith, you don't even make God glad. You don't even satisfy. So it becomes a spiritual process. So a spiritual way, way in the past. To please God. 
How many of you want to please God this year? Then you need to understand how faith can reposition you in that kind of, understand how for that kind of experience where you please God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it is now. Now now the product of pleasing God is what delivers the thing you thought you were putting faith on God for. Where no, I'm teaching, I'm showing you something. It's a mystery. Where you don't put your faith by God, the result of that faith you don't put to God, now you don't be this seed. Can I explain a bit? Of, and I want you to understand this. That you allow you understand so you want bring and come down. You have always thought that when it has to do with healing, that's the first time you need faith. When it comes to well body, now they tell you need faith. When you are believing God for financial blessing, when you, you need faith. Money, now tell you, yeah, you faith but there. I have come to let you know tonight that, you are you know, say today. that faith is chiefly faith. You not go able to put them in place. Faith is chiefly. That faith you know we have to put our exercise on. Faith is principally. Faith very important. Faith is chiefly. Faith very important and demanding. Uh huh. <laughs> faith is chiefly the spiritual process to please God. Now a process where you the pass through for make God. A done. spiritual process that allows you to please God. Now a way where you the pass for able to please God. Now. When you please God, when you make God glad, he, he now releases the thing you thought and now they you release, needed faith for. And now they release that thing to you when you feel saying I faith for. You God. have pleased God. You don't please God. He now releases the blessing. He now you the blessing. So, so the, the faith, faith that we are talking about that will work in 2018. That faith what they talk about when they work this year. It's not having faith for things. Not to forget faith for the property. But you have faith to please God. You get faith for make God glad. I believe I'm going to please God this year. And did he say they make God glad this year? And so I'm not seeking to have faith for things. And they fall at anything they want I'm to seeking to have faith to please God. And they seek for make God glad. Oh my us. God, when God is pleased with you. Oh my God glad is all the things you would have been suffering looking for it will release them your way it will bring them to you why because you are pleasing when i'm pleased with someone he doesn't need to ask me for things when i'm pleased with my children they don't need to ask me for things because i'm pleased with them one day I saw my last daughter. One day I see last speaking. She wore her uniform. And then we wear a uniform. And I found that somehow when they were ironing it, it ripped a place. When they be the iron and rub them, it, 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 she it did not have to ask me to replace that uniform. And nobody need for asking Papa to replace that uniform. She only needed that I am pleased with her. And we just want to let Papa glad with her. And the moment I am pleased with her, when Papa glad with her, I will never allow her to wear that uniform to school. That uniform has to be changed because I am pleased with her. Without faith, you cannot please God. When you please God, you don't need to pray for things. Let it happen. When you God is pleased with you, you don't need to pray for things. He simply pushes the blessing your way. He makes his favor to come to you. He makes finances to answer to your labor. And everything just works that way. All things work correctly. That's what faith principally is up to you. So faith they bring to you. So you need to understand that in 2018. You need to know that in this year 2018. That faith is principally to please God. Faith now for make God glad. And when God is pleased with you, oh, when God glad with you, uh, your case is finished. Your, your case not settled. I pray God will be pleased with you. God glad with you. I say God will be pleased with you. God go glad with you. So faith is given to please God. Faith now for make God glad you. Not just to gather things. Not just to get property there. Not just to get car. Not just for Bible, come on to Not God. just to get money. Not to forget money. But to please God. God May you please God this year. Make life all happy this year. This is what will grant you the final victory. This is going to make you win that final fair. Because when God is pleased with you, when God glad with you, He will tell you, He will tell you, my son, come into your rest. Come now, you place. Come and take your place. Take your seat, your place.
Come and take your crown. Take your position. I am pleased with you. I gladly with you. May God look at you eyeball to eyeball in 2018 and say, my son, my daughter, I'm pleased with you. And may the blessing you have been looking for all these years, may they locate you cheaply and easily in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Number two. With faith, you will have the final victory. With faith, you will win the final victory. Romans chapter 3, verse 21. Romans 3, 21. Romans 3, 21. Quickly, let's look at that. And then we close. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 3, verse 21. Romans 3, 21. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested. The righteousness of Papa God will not get the law not attached to an eye will see. Being witnessed by the law. And the prophets. Where the law, the prophet will be witnessed and by the law and the prophets. Yeah. No, when he's talking about, he said, witnessed by the law, he's talking about the five, the tetra, the five books of the Bible. The five books of the Bible, now the top box. And then the prophets that followed. And that prophet that went to follow. Isaiah, Jeremiah, Isaiah, Daniel, Jeremiah, Hosea. Hosea. So he, he's talking about the Old Testament. Now the Old Testament, the top box. He says, Put that scripture. You need to Put understand how yes. things are packaged in scripture. Now for, no, how things are packaged He said, but the righteousness of God without the law. The Papa God in without the law. Without, without the demands of the Tetrarch, the five books of the Bible. Without the five books of the Bible that they put together. And then the prophets. And what did the prophet say? Eh? He said, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. He's being witnessed. The one they were not witnessed huh? by the prophet and the law. The, the, the righteousness of God that God is talking about is the righteousness of faith by the faith righteous in Christ Jesus. Jesus. Faith in Jesus Christ. He said the law and the prophets come to witness it, what they saw in a shadow in the Old Testament the prophet is becoming a reality. The in the Old Testament, and witness and see. Now in verse 22, verse 22 of, of the same scripture, of that same scripture Romans yes. chapter 3, verse 22, even the righteousness of God, which is by faith, even God is your righteousness when by faith of Jesus Christ, through Jesus Christ, unto all and upon all them that believe. But all the world believe. That was not the case in the law and the prophets. Not also the law be there and the prophets anymore. And in the Old Testament, it was not like that. The Old Testament not to say be there. It said the. The law and the prophets of the, the old they the now prophet. witness, they are to see, witness this. See what the reality, the reality of the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ. They see the exhibition of Jesus, what he unto do. all that believe. And to all who that believe, for there's no difference. No difference on it. Whether Jew or Greek, there's no difference. It no matter who say you come out, no difference on it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These, These are, are deep things deep that you need to grace to even understand what God is saying. You need God for understanding. So, so you, but you need to understand that with faith. You need to understand that through faith. This is how you shall have the final victory. Now, so you go win the final fight. Now, let me let me simplify this. That you want put and don't 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 want. What the Bible is saying is this. What did they talk? If a man sets himself to do every moral every moral thing, a man sets himself to do the good in them, every good thing, all the good in them, never hurts anybody, and not they touch nobody, never does anything good, anything bad, and they do bad thing. It lives his life neat. And they live a life clean. But, but. Has no faith in Jesus Christ. Why not believe Jesus Christ? This is not, it's not counted righteous. That man they not claim, not righteous. He is not counted righteous. They're not counted righteous. So the righteousness, the final arbiter, the, the righteous while arbiter, you are living right, where you then live to, to while you mind, are doing the things you should do, you do the thing away for do, depend, have faith in the work of of Calvary by Christ Jesus. You get faith in how Jesus be walk and take on a Calvary. That is the one that will certify you and grant you the final victory. That one, I need Can you say you amen to that? The final faith. Do you understand that? You hear it, Anne? See, you need to understand that. You can't forget this by this whole. Understand this is you. what you just need to understand. Now this you need for no. No matter how com complex, it's not even complex at all. This why not, not difficult. What I'm saying is this. Let and me explain it again because it's very very important. Hey, what put and don't now? Don't jump. Very very important. So now we understand now. This is very so important. So somebody that is a moralist, somebody where they work, if he say all thing correct, man, will still miss heaven. In order to go heaven, we go still miss heaven. If he has no faith in Christ Jesus. If you not believe Jesus. Is somebody hearing me? Somebody hearing me now. Okay. I, I don't do this. I don't do that. Fine. You don't do, know this. Don't, don't 
believe well best we must have faith in Christ Jesus Why you forget faith by Jesus? because the Bible says the, Bible say, the righteousness of man, the mortal man in clean one, without faith in Christ Jesus, faith, Jesus is like filthy rags it is the righteousness of man on earth when man said the worker to do it before God plus your faith in Christ Jesus when you get faith in Jesus Christ back that is what grants you the final victory I pray you shall not miss it in Jesus name I say you shall not miss it in Jesus name so you must believe in God that justifies because you cannot justify yourself you know you will correct yourself some of this interpretation sound like they are not really coming the way I want. Okay. Is that uh, is that correct? Yes, sir. Uh, Correcting yourself. That don't worry. Yes, don't sir. worry. I understand. Yes, sir. You know when we are interpreting something, don't worry. Please clap your hands for me. Clap for me. Clap for me. What I mean is this. What did I mean? this? Remember, it is God that justifies. Now God they make what a man clean. Tell your neighbor, it's God that justifies. Now God they make what a man clean. Tell your neighbor, it is God that justifies. Now God they make what a man clean. So you must have faith in God that justifies. You forget the ungodly. Faith for God will go make what a man clean. That is faith that is counted for righteousness. Now that faith that they count as righteousness. You the, the Bible says. The Bible says. Abraham believed God. Abraham believed God. He had faith in the God that justifies. If he got faith by God when they make what I'm And clean. God counted that faith as righteousness for God him. God be gone that faith. They say they walk and through her before him. Now look at him. this this way. Watch out. Remember that Abraham did good things. Abraham did good things anymore. I mean, he, he, he saw some people. He attended to strangers very he well. He then. was a good man. Good he, he did good things. He, good thing he did not hurt anybody. He, he did not good things. Nobody. He be clean. He be the work of but, but it was good things plus his faith in God that justifies. Now that good thing will be they do in faith by God. Now he make them correct. And the Bible says, and God counted his faith as righteousness. God be watch and say, this man no worker correct before me. So if you see a man that is doing good things, you see what a man they do good in them. They say, do you believe in God? He says, in Jesus. He says, no, 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 I don't Jesus. believe in Jesus Christ. Me, I don't believe. I don't know. I Wait. Wait he will miss the final victory. He not go win that final victory. Is somebody hearing me? Yeah, they read that. He will miss the final. I can it, bet with my life. He will miss the final victory. He will miss the final victory. He will miss the final victory. He not go win that victory because because the most important thing he has left out. The most important thing we don't left the end. And that is Jesus Christ. Uh, Jesus, don't let and that is, you must have faith in Christ Jesus. You forget what believe Jesus Christ. That is what defines your justification. Now that thing that make you different. What you believe Can you say amen to say that? Say amen. Can you say amen to that? Say amen. Romans chapter 9 verse 32. Romans 9 verse 32. Quickly, quickly. I want to, I didn't want to go deep like this, but I want to clarify some things. Because this aspect that I touch. I don't want to just left it floating. Wherefore, because they sought it not by faith. Are you following what because Jesus, what the scripture is saying now? Did you follow, please? Please, I want you to follow. I don't want to. That's why I'm going deep. Because I want to make sure that I bring out the real that meaning you for you. That you understand. I make it go deep inside. So, please pay attention. He said, wherefore, because, because they sought it not by faith. They don't go after him with faith. They not be get faith when they go after. They him. sought it not by faith. They not be get faith when they go after him. What were they seeking? What did they go after? They were seeking to please God. Maybe they seek for make Papa God happy. They were seeking to live right. They want to make themselves right. But they did not do it by faith. They not be get faith when they do it. Look at what he's saying. He said, wherefore, because they sought it not by faith, they not be go after him with faith. But as it were by the works of the law. They do it by what did the law say? They sought to please God by the works of the law. They please Papa God by what did the law say? For they stumbled at that stumbling stone. They've been kept of faith, faith. What is that stumbling stone? What is that stone there? Where they be the faith, faith with? The law. Now the law they be the faith with. It's a stumbling stone. Now stone where they be the faith with. Now struggle. Without Christ. They not be get Jesus. You cannot keep the law. You know where we keep the law. Where you not get Jesus. 
No matter how hard you try. No matter how you fight, you know go able. Are you hearing me? Is somebody hearing me? Somebody hearing me. Somebody Tonight, daddy? when I look at you, where they look you, look I you say like Jesus. Say like Jesus. I say like Jesus said to the disciples. And they talk, what did Jesus be talk to the disciples? I eh? still have many things to tell you. Is there a good thing for tell you now? But I can see you are not able to bear them now. But it says we are not able to take them now. So rise up on your feet. So now it's enough now. Okay. Now it's enough. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now give God the glory. You need the Holy Spirit. Lift up your hands and you ask the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Ask the Holy Spirit. I for need the Holy Spirit. Every hour. time. When he, the spirit of truth, is come. Where in Jesus come as true? Jesus said, Jesus. when he, the spirit of truth, is come. Jesus said, when the spirit of truth will come. He will lead you into all the truth. He go take with to all the when are true. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will take this word you have heard. The Holy Spirit will take this word you have heard. And dissect it properly in your heart. And explain it better in your understanding. He explain until we understand. He bring until we left. Jesus mighty name. Inside Jesus in big name. What are you to do? Walk in the light. Walk in the light. Walk inside the light. Walk in the light. Walk inside the light. Don't walk in the darkness. No walk in the darkness. Walk in the light. Walk in the light. Keep your walk in the light of Jesus. Jesus has come to show us the light. Jesus come for showing the light. Walk in the light of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 If you walk in the light, the coming of Jesus Christ will not be a surprise to you. Where Jesus Christ not surprise you? You will. You will not be frightened. You not go afraid. You will not be shaking. You not go to shake. They tremble. Look, if people are talking about the coming of Jesus Christ and you are afraid, that people means you are walking in darkness. People that talk about Jesus in Calvary and they are afraid, that means they walk up. But when people are talking about the, 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 the coming of Jesus Christ, you said, Come, Lord Jesus. When people they talk about Jesus in Calvary, you say, Oh, Jesus, come now. That means you are walking in the light. You, you are not afraid. You know they pray, they because you are walking in the light of Jesus Christ. Correct, Can you say a big amen to that? Say amen. So I want to encourage you to walk in the light. I want to encourage you to follow, walk out the light. Live righteous. Let we live righteous life. Understand that faith. Understand that this faith comes. And they come when the foundation of the flesh is put under. Why you able to put your body down? Control your body. And then the spirit comes up. Now the tell the spirit they come. In all matters of life. All the things of life. I pray over your life. I you pray over with I life decree then. that your flesh shall not rule over you I in the name of Jesus Christ. Will not rule over we again. There is no man's flesh that is good. What am my body? No one know the way good. The body. The flesh yearns after sin. The body they run after sin for sin for do bad thing. It is the spirit the spirit there that yearns after God. Nine they go after God. That's why Paul says. I'm a Paul, he I put my body under. He said, put this body under. Shut up. Sit down and shut up. So when your body wants to push you to say, Sh stop it. When your body wants to make like you do bad things, they say, tell her, shut up. You are putting your body where? You they put your body under. You they subdue them. You are putting your body where? Who said you they put your body? Stop it! Stop! You can't direct me. You know able to control me. Stop there! Shut up! My body, stop there! My body, stop here! My flesh. It's my body. What do you want? Rise up! Grab! My, I mean my spirit. My, rise up! My spirit, grab! My flesh, go down! This my body, go down! My body, stop it! Stop what you want to do! My spirit, come up! My spirit, come up! My spirit, direct me! My spirit, come up! And, and your flesh is trying to push you to say, Hey, stop it. Your body will let you see. Say, Hey, stop. Stop there. 
Stop! Spirit, come up! Spirit, come! Let's go. No, go. Direct me. No, show me what I'm for go. Spirit, direct me. Spirit, tell me what you for do. Every man's body, if you allow your body to direct you, if I you pity allow, you. If you allow your body to direct you, that is sorry for you. Sorry for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, from today, your spirit will direct you. From today, your spirit will direct you. In the things of life in Jesus' mighty name. And this world is inside Jesus' name. Eternity is God's future plan for man. For labor to man go up heaven and God in plan. You will not miss eternity. You will not miss heaven. I say you shall not miss it in Jesus' name. You will not miss heaven. Even when you want to give offering. Even when you want to give offering to God. Your body is somehow. Your body is shaking. They want to resist. Stop it. Say stop. When you die, are you carrying this money away? When you die, you go this money. You're not dirty. Stop it. Stop. Next time you touch my heart when I want to give to God. Next time you touch me, how do I want to give to God? You see the red part of my eyes. I go deal with you. Tell you about this. Oh. Money is not my master. Money not to control me. It's my servant. It's my slave. Money not slave to me. I'm the one to direct it where you should now go. Now, me direct me money, you put up. And my money goes to God. And my money not to God, you go. The flesh will just be quiet. The flesh, they can't do outside for this. And be walking like a pussycat that you have caught. He's trying to steal your meat. You just arrive. A pussycat will do like this. A they walk like that pussy, they go lower. Because you caught it right handed. Because you don't catch up. Control your body. Control your body. Tell your neighbor, control your body. Tell your neighbor, say, control your body. Or else your body will make you miss seven. Your body will make you miss heaven no, if you don't control her. Say to somebody, control your body. Tell somebody, say control your body. Or else your body will make you miss heaven. Because your body will make you go hell. Uh, you are not looking at you are afraid. Tell watch somebody, watch control your body. Watch her, watch her, coro, coro, tell her. Or else your body will make you to miss heaven. Or else your body will make you miss heaven. Lift up your hand. Yes, you have Lord, give me grace to control Lord, my body. Lord, give me grace to I don't want to miss heaven. I know I miss heaven. Lift up your voice and pray. Lord, Help me, pray. me to control my body. Give me the grace, the grace. I don't want to miss heaven. I know I miss heaven. Help me to control this body. Oh, Papa, help me to control my body. This body, this I body. Subdue this body. I subdue must him. control this body. I am control him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will have the final victory. You go win that final victory. There's someone that is will having their final victory. Shout a big hallelujah. Shout a hallelujah. I'm sure you are rejoicing now in your heart. Now you're glad in your heart. Final victory. One, two, three, four. Wonderful. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Who can remember what I said the first day? I said, if God owns you, if God he will control you. you. And you. Satan will not control you. Satan will control you. Because you don't belong to Satan. You know How many of you belong to God? How many of you then God will control you. God will control From you. now, God will control you. Will control and I said, whatever you own, you control. Because God owns you, he will control you. Come and put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> are you ready? ready? Is somebody ready? Somebody I say, are you ready? ready? Lift up your voice and say, I'm ready. Say, I'm ready. Get seated, Heavenly Father, thank you for you have been tremendously available for us by providing us with unusual strength, by granting us unusual insight into your word, by helping us in the various aspects of existence. Your name be glorified forevermore in Jesus' name. Amen. The days ahead, we commend ourselves unto you. Amen. In Jesus' great name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Please close your eyes and bow your heads like, now. Put your head on. And I want to ask if you're here, you are not born again and yet. They ask if you do, you don't give life to it Jesus. It is important that you give your life to Jesus important Christ. Important that you give your life to Jesus. So. Very important. It's very important. So. so while your eyes are closed, when your eyes lock, so let your heart be open. Open your heart. If you want to be born again, you want your life to Jesus. You want Jesus to come into your life. You want to let Jesus can control your life and be your Lord and your Master. And be your Lord and your Master. While you are seated, where you sit also, lift up your hand. As you are up, just lift up your hand. I want you to right hand. God, God bless you. God bless that hand. Yes, up. God yes, bless up. that hand. God bless that hand. Yes, um. God bless that hand. As you are up, every hour. Savior, I 
please write some on your feet and come back. Come here. Come. If you come. raise your hand up, grab it. Come. come. God bless you. God bless you. Come. God bless you. Please quickly, quickly, quickly. We are waiting for you. Come. That he has to say, I have to return to God. I want to get back to God. I'll get return back to God. As my father. As my papa. And I will say, Father, forgive me. And I will say, God, forgive me. I have sinned against you. I don't turn from you. I don't sin against you. I've sinned against my destiny. I don't sin against me, better one. Forgive me. Forgive me, Papa. In the name of Jesus. Inside Jesus' in name. Can I say a prayer with you? Daddy, you want to pray with me now? Say, Lord Jesus. Say, Papa God. Say, Lord Jesus. 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 If you are too stiff, you will not understand to pray. Say, Lord Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus. Come on, little. Say, Lord Jesus. No, 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 no. Use Creole. Come to you today. Forgive me, my sins. Eh? Me a sinner. <laughs> I don't open my heart to you. Come inside my life. Control me. Stay with me, Papa. Direct me, oh God. Show me how for go, Papa. I receive you today as my personal Lord and Savior. Inside Jesus' name. Amen. Father, thank you. Let the confession of their mouth and the meditation of their hearts be acceptable in heaven. In Jesus' name. Amen. There are pastors waiting for you. Turn behind. Just right behind you. Turn behind. You see pastors. Pastors that they wait for you. And, some men of and just go with them. them. Go with them. Hallelujah. Is that clap offering for Jesus? That clap now for Come on, Jesus. let's make it louder. Clap, 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 clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Would you like to clap for Jesus? Praise God. What a wonderful God we serve. Let's close our eyes, open our mouths, and celebrate the world that we.